In a previous video that I have done, I explored the use of the Sonos Up wall mount that will actually activate a special feature using a magnet in the wall mount to reduce the EQ so as to reduce the resonance from the Sonos Up when it is mounted against the wall. Now, I have also touched on the fact that True Play is supposed to actually have the ability to bring down those frequencies if they are excessive. So the question is, is this the only way to bring down the resonance or is TruePlay supposed to be doing that job? Let's find out today. So in my usual fashion, I would like to give you my answer up front. With TruePlay, it will actually bring down the levels so as to reduce the resonance when the Sonos Arc is mounted against the wall and that is even without the Sonos Arc wall mount. You could use this Sonos Arc wall mount, the original mount intended for the Sonos Arc to bring down the resonance level when the Sonos Arc is mounted against the wall. The other way of doing it is you could also use TruePlay. So let's assume that you are wall mounting this but you're not using the original Sonos Up with the magnet that will automatically enable the EQ to lower the resonance. So by what extent? The wall mount brings down the output levels significantly. I'm not very sure whether that is a very good thing or not because it reduces the 100 to the 500 hertz frequency band quite significantly. True play, while well, it does bring it down, it does not bring down as much. So what I've done today is later I will go through my frequency response chart. I have actually moved the Sonos Arc back to my listening position. I've redone the frequency sweeps with the Sonos Arc on its own as well as with the Sonos Arc with TruePlay, with the Sonos Arc with the wall mount kit. So if you have time, do stay around. We will explore some of these differences and how I do the testing so that you get a better idea of how this works and how TruePlay will actually help to achieve the same or rather similar effect of the wall mount kit without you spending an extra cent more. So I'd like to make a call out to Sonos. Come on guys, you designed this thing beautifully. We are willing to pay $79 for this alone, okay, because of the build quality, not because you put a magnet here that will automatically activate the EQ without giving us any form of control. Whether we want that or not, you automatically enable it without us having a choice. So, you can build it into your S2 app, right? Come on, it is a switch. My Sonos Arc is wall mounted. Reduce resonance. Don't reduce resonance. You don't need the magnet to do this, come on. Tell us that you're charging $79 for this because of its build quality and design. We'll give it to you. You don't have to add on to it by saying that, oh, because there's a special feature and it's a special wall mount and therefore we're charging you $79. Don't have to do that. Give us the switch. Let us choose whether we want to reduce resonance on the Sonos Arc if it is wall mounted or not, independently of whether you are using the Sonos Arc original wall mount. Thank you, Sonos. Okay, so the first thing that we will do is, like I said, I have changed the position of the Sonos Arc back to my regular listening position. And so I've rerun some of the frequency sweeps. So I'll bring up the charts here again you will see the green and the red chart. Now the green chart is for the Sonos Arc when it's pushed against the wall, flush against the wall, but without using the Sonos wall mount kit. The red line represents the frequency response for when the Sonos Arc is placed in the same position, but mounted with the wall mount kit and the magnet in tech in place so that we will automatically run the EQ profile to lower the resonance which will kind of lower the frequency response. So if you look at the chart above, you see that the red line will have the frequency response from about 100 Hz to 500 Hz significantly lowered. So this is what the Sonos Arc wall mount does to the Sonos Arc. I took out the Sonos Arc wall mount kit and I ran TruePlay. So what I wanted to know is TruePlay is supposed to reduce resonance, it's supposed to change the sound profile so that it makes everything sound as it should. Just like what this guy is doing, right? You're wall mounting it and therefore it changes the sound profile so that it sounds like it should. So I want to know whether TruePlay is doing that same job or not. So I ran the TruePlay and I will introduce now the blue curve. So the blue curve represents the Sonos Arc on its own without the wall mount kit but with TruePlay done. So you will see that the line 
falls somewhere in between. It does bring down the frequency range from about 100 hertz onwards to 500 hertz. But in that particular location that I have, the wall mount kit actually started bringing down the frequencies from about 70, 80 hertz onwards. With TruePlay, it does not bring down the 70 to 100 hertz. It starts bringing down the frequency only from about 100 hertz onwards. So I would say that the true play helps to preserve the lower end frequencies a little bit better. So can it bring down as much resonance? Does it tamper with the sound effect as much as the wall mount kit does? No, it doesn't. But I'm not sure whether that is a bad thing at all. Maybe it is a good thing because this wall mount kit actually changes the sound profile to the point that it is actually a lot softer overall. And the mid tones, the mid range where the vocals are between 100 and 500 hertz, it does sound a little bit subdued. Some people will find it clearer, so it really depends on your taste and your preference. So what I'm trying to suggest to you today is just that True Play is actually an alternative. And that, again, opens up all the third-party wall mounts. I'm going to link some of those wall mount kits in the video description below. They are my Amazon affiliate links. You can buy from there. You don't have to pay the $80 that they are charging for this. Some of them range, they start from $20 to $30 to $40, depending on your taste and your requirements. But one thing that is common across all the third-party mounts is that they don't have this special magnet which won't activate the special EQ profile that will lower the resonance on the Sonos app automatically. But as I've explained to you, and if you can look at the blue curve here, TruePlay already does half that job for you. And it is not even that bad a job. In fact, I think it might be a better place to be in rather than to have this guy automatically pull down the levels so drastically. So the next point that I want to bring up is what happens after you mount the Sonos Arc with the Sonos Arc wall mount kit. Do you do true play again? Hmm, good question. Okay, so let's remove this. First, I'll bring up the green and the red lines again. The green lines, when it's wall mounted, the red line, when it's wall mounted with the Sonos Arc wall mount kit. And then I will pull up the black line. Now, this black line, as you can see, it actually runs a little bit hotter than the red line. Now, what is the black line? The black line is after you mount the Sonos Arc on this wall mount kit and you perform True Play. So True Play actually recognizes that maybe this guy is bringing down the levels a little bit too much and it pushes it up a little bit more. And that could possibly get you to where True Play was trying to do without any original wall mount kit at all in the first place. So I'm not sure where Sonos is going with this. Well, of course, this functionality is a good marketable function. It gives them something to say, it gives them something to sell. I'm just not very sure whether it is good for us as consumers or not. It was as easy as having a switch, having a feature on and off a toggle within the S2 controller app itself. Okay, so there is my video today. It is a short video. My recommendation to you now is that you can get a third party mount. You don't have to buy this. I think some of those that I've explored and I'm linking down below, they actually look pretty decent. There's a simple two piece mount, which I'm linking there. There's also one that's made from acrylic, which is probably lighter and probably a similar one that is made from stainless steel as well and silicone padded. So as to prevent scratches to both the wall as well as the Sonos Arc. And common across all the three third-party mounts is that they don't have this portion where the magnet is, so it doesn't change the sound profile of your Sonos Arc. You can then use TruePlay to tune it, and you can use EQ to push it up a little bit, down a little bit, to fit the sound to your liking, rather than to have Sonos force it down your throat. And if you want to learn a way to hack the original Sonos wall mount kit, let's assume that you've already spent money on it, you've already bought it, but you don't want that special feature. I'm going to link another video right up here. It's a very interesting video which I just launched uh, just yesterday. And in that video, I'm teaching you how to remove the magnet so as to deactivate the special feature on the Sonos Arc with the wall mount kit. It is a completely reversible change 
And in fact, I will even teach you how to store the magnet after you remove it. And you can even put it back without activating the special feature. So if you are interested in that, please make sure you check out that video. So for those of you who have found my channel useful and my videos to be providing value to you, do consider subscribing to my channel. I cover a lot of wireless audio product and you will notice that I cover a lot of Sonos products. Almost all the current products I would have covered and touched and no one else on YouTube is going into as much detail and as much depth as I am doing for the Sonos ecosystem. And if you are feeling particularly generous and feel that I'm bringing genuine value to you, do consider scanning this QR code here. It will provide you a link to my Patreon account where you can make a small contribution to help me out with making all these videos and buying the stuff here and ruining my Sonos Arc warm out kit so that I can't sell it anymore. So do help me out and I'll help you out. I'll see you in my next video.